To write the Lewis structure for BaSO4, that's barium sulfate, we need to recognize that barium, that's a metal, and then SO4, that's a group of nonmetals. It's called a polyatomic ion. It's the sulfate ion. When we have a metal and nonmetals, that's an ionic compound, and the metal is going to transfer valence electrons to the nonmetals. So to write the Lewis structure for BaSO4, we write Ba, and then we add the sulfate ion right next to it. We said that barium is a metal, and the sulfate ion, that's a group of nonmetals. So the barium will transfer its valence electrons to the nonmetals. Barium, on the periodic table, that's in group 2, so it has two valence electrons. So it transfers both of those valence electrons to the SO4. So it lost two electrons, and electrons, they're negative. So it lost two negative charges. So now it has a 2 plus charge. The SO4, which gained those two electrons, those two negative charges, it has a 2 minus charge. We have these brackets here to show that the electrons, they were transferred, they were lost, the barium lost them, and the sulfate, it gained them. So they're not sharing electrons like we do in a covalent bond. What we've drawn here for BaSO4 is called a formula unit. Barium sulfate, it's a crystal, and it's made up of a pattern of repeating formula units like the Lewis structure we've drawn here for barium sulfate. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for BaSO4, and thanks for watching.